But let's talk about leading uh, from long suits against a no Trump contract. Uh, that's the subject that we're on. I'm going to be on no Trump, no Trump leads for the, at least this week and next week. And when you have nothing to go by from the auction, your partner hasn't bid a suit. I mean, last week we talked about leading partner suit. Um, generally, you lead your longest suit. And uh, when you have uh, a long suit, uh, and if the suit has a three card or longer sequence, you lead the top card. Uh, a sequence has wonderful um, potential to promote winners. Uh, in this case, we're, we're hoping to promote winners in the spades this way. If you uh, look at all the cards around the table, you can see that your partner can't help you out much, but you can see that if, um, if declare, if declare, let's see, if declare plays uh, the cards and maybe they even hold up for a bit, you you have the potential of developing four tricks in the suit. So we all know about leading the top of what we call a solid sequence. Let me show you some of the other sequences that count. One of the differences between no Trump leads and Trump leads is that your sequence needs to be three cards, but it doesn't have to be a solid three cards. Let me show you an example. Here's a lead against three no Trump where you have the queen jack nine. Now the third card is off by one. Queen jack 10 would be a solid three card sequence. But when it goes queen jack nine, we give it a different name. It's called a broken sequence. And let me show you how that can play. If we lead the top of our broken sequence against uh, this three no trump contract, um, you can see how you do have the potential to develop some tricks. Suppose declarer wins the first trick with the ace. <clears throat> um, now look at the situation here. If, um, if, if we lead the suit at this time, now the, one of the differences between having a solid sequence and a broken sequence is that oftentimes we can't continue the suit. Um, now, right now, Declarer has won the first trick, and if Declarer plays the suit, uh, if Declarer plays some other suit for a while and say our, we get in again and we win a trick, we cannot lead the spades without giving up an extra trick. Notice that if I win the next trick and I lead the five of spades or the seven or the nine, one of my small spades, Declarer now wins a trick with the ten. Uh, if I lead my jack, Declarer wins with the king and their ten is high. In other words, Declarer, if I lead the suit now, Declarer gets two more tricks. So when you have a broken sequence, often your partner has to be the one to lead the suit. So you can trap this ten. Declarer is entitled to one trick. They're entitled to the king, but they're not entitled to the ten when you have the jack sitting over it. So sometimes that will freeze the suit for you. And if you don't continue a suit like this, that's usually a signal to partner that they want you to continue the suit. Now let me show you another kind of sequence that we often have and that we can lead from. The King Jack 10, in this case you have a hole between the first card and the second card, but you still have two touching honors here, the Jack and the 10. This is what we call an interior sequence. Uh, it could be Ace Jack 10 as well, uh, it could be Ace 10 9 or King 10 9, but it, it's, a, it's a, a high card followed by two touching honors uh, without with a gap in the middle. The card to lead from this sequence is the jack. And I'll show you how you can work with your partner when, uh, when you lead that suit. If you lead the jack, now this is of course no guarantees that your partner has the ace, but they should. And if they're going to play third hand high, they'll win it with the ace. Now look at the situation here. If partner when partner leads the suit back, this is this is just a thing of beauty. They can lead the four. Now they don't know you have the king, but you led the suit, so you must have something. They're going to help you. Uh, they're going to cooperate and try and set up the suit. If they lead the four, notice that the queen here is trapped between the king and the ten. If declarer plays low, you win the ten. If declarer plays the queen, you win the king, and you play the ten, and you get all of the rest of the spade tricks. I, I really like interior sequence leads, uh, and if I have this kind of a lead, I, I love leading the interior sequence, the jack here. So let's practice with this a little bit. I'm going to set up a, uh, a suit. Um, here's your suit, and what we want to decide is what card will we lead and how many tricks will we win in the suit. I'm going to start with uh, 
I'm going to launch a poll. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Here's your here's your holding, or uh, maybe only 20 seconds. Choose a card: the jack, the ten, the nine, or the six. Okay, that's nearly everyone. All right, I'll share, share the results. Nearly everyone led the jack, which is correct. Um, when you have a solid sequence like this, you want to lead the jack and um, declare, notice that they have the king on one side, the queen on the other. Uh, they are always entitled to one trick, but uh, they will they will get their one trick, but you'll, you'll set up three for your side. Let's look at um, another example. Here's your holding, Queen Jack 963. So let's do a poll on this one. It's a three no trump, of course, and let's see. Now let me doop, 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 doop. Okay, oh I see how to do it. Alright, here we go. Number two. You hold the Queen Jack 963. Choose a lead. Interesting. Okay, that's nearly everyone. 20 seconds seems long enough. Um, let's have a look at this one. Um, nearly all of you picked the queen, which is the correct lead here. Um, in this instance, the uh, this is called a broken sequence. You have the queen, jack, nine, and if you see all the cards across the table, um, by leading the queen, you have the potential of trapping the ten in uh, Declarer's hand between your jack and nine. So leading the queen is uh, is the correct lead in this case, and it's called a broken sequence. All right, let's look at one more. You have the ace, jack, ten, and let's do the polling on this one. Ace, jack, ten, four, three. Okay, everyone's uh, getting quick at this. Let's look at the results. Um, nearly everyone picked the jack. One picked the ten, but the jack is the uh, is the correct uh, response. And let's look at how that can work. If we show all the cards leading the jack, we have the potential here um, to get an extra trick. Notice that if uh, if we lead the jack and declare a plays the two from the dummy, it will lose to the queen. But now, when either one of you gets in again, your ace can swallow up the king and your ten, and you take four tricks in the suit. Um, it, of course, I assumed that uh, Declarer would not play the king from the dummy, and, and they might play the king from the dummy. If you lead the jack and Declarer plays the king, well, it will win the trick, of course. Uh, but Declarer is always entitled to one trick in the suit. They're not entitled to two. If you're, You cannot lead the suit now. Uh, your partner needs to lead it because if they can lead a spade then the queen is now trapped between the ace and the ten and then you will still get all four of the remaining spades in the suit. Alright, let's do one more. Um, let's see. Before I do that, hang on a second, let me put the hand up. Here's the king, queen, jack, eight, three. Ah. What's the lead? Three no trump is the contract. Mm. Yeah, I think everybody knows this one. All right, let's. Everybody led the king. Okay, good. Uh, let's look at how many how many cards we'll get in the suit. If we lead the king, this is a nice one. We lead the king and declare a plays, and our partner gives an encouraging signal. If we notice the encouraging signal there, because we can't find the two, and we'll talk about signals more in more detail later. We can lead low to our partner's ace, they can lead the suit back to us, the two, and we can trap the rest of the cards and, and win all of the spade tricks. So that works out really nicely. Let me show you one hand if I can. Let's see, here it is. Uh, let's say this is the hand. Um, east passes um, south, our hand, 
no, 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 no. Dum -dum -dum. Oh, let me, oh, I have to move around to south. Let's do it this way. No, I'm going to stay in west. South opens one diamond, and we're passing. Uh, we're sitting at west, by the way. I've got the, the hand rotated. North bids, that's what tricked me up. North bids one spade. Uh, south bids one no trump. And our left-hand opponent bids three no trump. All right, we've got a lot of information here from the bidding. If we look at this, um, we've got a diamond bid on our right, a spade bid on our left. <clears throat> so hearts and clubs are the unbid suits. Our longest one is hearts. And from this hand, what would be a good lead? Let's say we lead the jack. And um, now let's say, I'm going to let the robots run it. Declare wins a trick. Notice that my partner wins the ace of hearts. They lead the suit back. Declare mm -hmm. plays the queen. Mm -hmm. And now we've got the queen trapped. My 10 wins. And my fourth heart wins. And then I've got the ace of clubs. That's the setting trick. I'm not going to wait to win the setting trick. And we set the contract. So that's how you can that's how you can win by leading an interior sequence. And that's what I have for today if there are any oh, questions. Yes, Morris, I have a question on the example four that you gave with the Queen Jack 963. Mm -hmm. When would you lead the fourth highest of your longest and strongest? And how is that this example different from that? Here you have a sequence. Queen Jack nine is a sequence. Is it, this is the hand you were talking about, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The because there's only, okay. Got it. Okay. So it's a it broken is, sequence. It's a broken sequence. It is a three card sequence, but it's broken. Okay. Right. All right. So you're okay, missing the thanks. 10. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. I see that now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mojo. I have a question about the fourth quiz question where my hand had the King Queen Jack mm -hmm. and my partner had the ACE. Mm -hmm. Now, why wouldn't they take, overtake with the ace and send it back to me right away. They would if they were doubleton, but they don't have to when they have three cards. Um, all they have to do it on the first card is play the six. Now, if, if you, if partner plays the queen on the second one, which would be a mistake, unfortunately, then they're forced to play their ace to overtake and then lead the two back. Uh, but it works. It works out okay. Uh, the thing is that um, in the original layout, partner didn't have to play the ace on the first trick. They simply give an encouraging sign. And if partner um, didn't have the jack, for one thing, if they had the 10, queen 10 instead of queen jack, now we could lead a small card over to partner's ace. Holding the queen, it's okay in this instance. But if partner were doubleton, they would have to overtake. And as a follow-up, suppose and instead of the six, they had a three, you know, or a low the, card. The three and the two? Yeah. I think I can do that. Let me see if I can. Uh, uh, yeah, let's switch. Because then it's cards. not an encouraging sign. Um, yes, it is. If I lead the king and my partner plays the three and and declare plays the five, I look around the table and I see I can see the six, the seven and the eight. I can't see the two. I can't see the two. I have to interpret my partner's three as being a high card. If partner plays the three from the three two, it's a high card. <laughs> and <laughs> unfortunately, signaling sometimes that's the best you can do. Uh, but when uh, when a, there is a missing low card, you might be able to figure that your partner is holding it. Uh, and a good declarer will do the best they can to conceal the missing low card to uh, to trip you up in that way. I better stop now and uh, get ready for the bridge game. But great questions. Thank you all for coming and thank you for asking.